Hey rappers, what's good? In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the five reasons that you need to be putting out singles instead of a mixtape. Hey, what's up? My name is Hit Play of HitPlayBeats.com and my goal is to help provide rappers with the knowledge they're gonna need in order to turn their dreams into their careers. So if you're a serious rapper, make sure you go ahead and you hit that subscribe button down below and you click the notification bell to get notified every time I release a new video. Also, if you like any of the beats you hear in the background of this video, I'll have all the direct links to each of those in the description below. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into it. So the first reason that you need to be putting out singles instead of a mixtape is because it makes it a lot easier to consistently put out new music. So one of the hardest things to do when you're an up coming artist is to build and maintain the attention of your fan base. And one of the main reasons for that is because of the fact that there's so much new music coming out from all these other artists every single month. So because of other artists releasing new music on a regular basis, as well as the fact that you might not be releasing any music while you're working on your mixtape. So if you go one to two months without releasing any new music, or you take three to six months to finish your entire project, that's all this momentum and all this buzz that you're actually gonna be losing because you haven't been releasing any music up until the point that you release your mixtape. So the second reason that you need to be putting out singles instead of a mixtape is because you can actually maximize your budget and promote your music effectively. One of the main problems that I see with rappers trying to put out a mixtape or an entire project is not only does it take so long for them to get it out, but it also costs a lot of money because you're, you're having to wait to buy all the beats, right? So let's just say each beat is 20 bucks and you're gonna do a 10 or 12 song project, so that's already $240 right there. You still have to pay for studio time, so if you're lucky enough to get a place that you can go like between $25 to $50 an hour, I mean, you're still looking at $300 to $500 to maybe even $750 in studio time. So we're already up to almost $1,000 depending on your budget and depending on like what's available in your local area to go record at, unless you're doing it yourself. And even if you are doing it yourself, you still have to pay for your studio equipment. So you're still gonna be spending about the same amount of money regardless. So once you have everything finalized and everything's all said and done, you still have to have a budget left over for your mixtape cover, unless you're gonna do it yourself. I actually have a video, you can use a free resource that I show you how to use in that video um, to make your own mixtape cover for free. So that can actually like help you maximize your budget a little bit farther. I'll link that video. You can check that out in the description at the end of this video, or you can pay somebody to do it obviously, which I usually recommend. So whether you're gonna do Facebook ads or YouTube ads, Instagram ads, whatever, or you're gonna do like influencer marketing where you basically pay somebody with a larger following to basically give you a shout out. Regardless what you do to try to get your music out to more people, you're still gonna have to have a budget to do that. So we'll just say that you, you, know, you might spend like $100 on Facebook hundred dollars on YouTube and like maybe like you know a hundred two hundred dollars on like influencer marketing you still you know that's still five hundred dollars so you're still looking at like the whole mixtape over the whole six month period three month period however fast you write your songs you you still got to spend about we'll just say anywhere between five hundred to fifteen hundred dollars to get the whole project done if you focus on releasing a single every single month your budget per month actually drops so you can actually do a lot of this like bare minimum for about a hundred and twenty dollars so that includes buying the beat that includes getting the artwork done that includes the studio time that includes a marketing budget so the third reason that you need to be putting out singles instead of a mixtape is actually the fact that the more music you make the better you get at making music so there is this kind of this unspoken rule and the saying that a lot of music producers follow that like you you have to make a hundred bad beats before you actually get good at making beats, right? And I 110% believe that. It's the same thing that any anytime you start doing something, you're not gonna be the best at it until you've been doing it for a while. So the more that you make and write songs and perform your songs and record, the better at it that you're gonna get. So the fourth reason you'd be putting out singles instead of a mixtape is because your fan base will actually grow more consistently and evenly over time versus only whenever you drop your new project. So if you're always dropping new songs every single month or at least maybe every six weeks, you're gonna find out that your, your audience is gonna consistently grow because you're reaching more people on a consistent basis. Versus if you put out a mixtape, you're going to be going every three to six months without really growing your audience even though you're engaging with the audience that you already have you're still not pulling new people in whether it be through the Spotify algorithm like people discovering you through Spotify or through Apple 
music or, or whatever. Basically, the more music that you're able to put out on a consistent basis, the more people can see you on a consistent basis. And so the fifth reason that you need to be putting out singles instead of a mixtape is it's actually a lot harder to promote an entire mixtape than it is just one song. Because you're an unknown artist and you're actually trying to promote to people who've never seen you before, never heard your music before, it's really difficult to get their attention in the first place. It's gonna be incredibly difficult for you to promote an entire like 12 song project for them to go and listen to versus just one song at a time. And if you think about it this way, if you're scrolling through your timeline on social media or Instagram or whatever, and you see that some new artist just dropped a mixtape, are you really gonna go and listen to every single song on that mixtape, especially the fact that you may not even know that artist? And don't get me wrong, there's always gonna be like hardcore music fans that are gonna go through and listen to it, but not everybody is a hardcore music fan. They're not driven like a real creative, so they're not as interested in it as like artists and producers would be. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you go ahead and you hit that like button down below. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or ideas for future videos, go ahead and drop that in the comments section down below this video. And until next time, guys, here are some more videos. Thank you.